Also, huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you a very, very simple and easy uh, speed ramp effect that you guys can apply to your videos, your vlogs, your travel vlogs, your cinematic videos, your gaming montages, whatever it is. So all the effects that I, you know, applied for the whoosh transitions, I wouldn't say transitions, but the whoosh sound effects is going to be provided by Andrew James. So shout outs to him, link in the description. And also if you guys are curious to the music that I used, I went on to Epidemic Sound where I got the uh, royalty free music and sound effects for uh, YouTube, uh, just so you guys don't get copyrighted. And the video that I uh, got it from was from Pexel Pixels videos.com all right so this is the video that i've done here and i'm going to push play but i'm going to turn down the audio on my mixer really quick so i'm gonna just play it through one more time so you guys can see the effects play out with the timeline Anyway, so this is the video that I have here and I want to speed ramp this. So before we start adding any sound effects, I'm going to first add some color adjustments because I'd rather do that before. So I'm going to go into color. I'm going to go to custom LUT and drag one to each one depending on which one you need needs one. So this one, I would probably add one. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the first clip. I'm going to go into the inspector window in custom LUT. If you don't have this, it means you're on an older version of Final Cut Pro 10, which is probably earlier than 10.4 we're gonna go into LUT and you can do choose custom LUT if you have a, a you know a downloaded a pack with different LUTs you can just do that and then you can select your LUTs I'm gonna try and simplify it as easy as possible so you guys don't get confused and if you guys get confused just go back in the video alright so once we're at this point what we want to do is we want to select the first video it doesn't really matter but I like to go in order from left to right so I'm gonna select this video here I'm gonna start in the beginning now depending on how you want the effect to start like let's say i want my let's say i want the video to play like this and then i want it to uh, kind of go fast and then i want it to slow down and then go fast again so we're going to press command r on your keyboard okay and once you're here you're going to see a normal 100 percent and you're going to have this little kind of like a little line at the end of that uh, video if you click on this and you drag it to the left this will speed up the video, so it'll make it faster because you're shortening the time. If you increase this to the right or drag it outwards, it's going to slow it down because you're making the video clip longer. It's going to slow it down a lot, uh, depending how far you, of course, drag this out. And if you click the down arrow, you have other options. You have slow, and you can slow it down to 50%, 25%, and 10%. If you click 50%, it will slow it down to 50% of what the current video is which is 100%. If you click the down arrow again, you can do 25 and 10%, but I'm not going to do that. You can go to fast and do the same thing. You can speed this up two times. What we're going to do is we're going to click on custom and then you have other options here. So you have direction, you can change this forward or reverse. You can actually reverse the clip. So if I push play, you're going to reverse the speed, which is cool. And I've seen this a lot in waterfall clips and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to click on the down arrow. I'm going to go to custom. Um, we have set speed, we have rate 100%, and then we have ripple, and then we have duration, and then you have hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. We're going to be focusing on milliseconds for the time being, depending on how long your video is. This video here is about 12 seconds. This one is about it's like another 10 seconds or so. And what I like to do is I like to push play, and then right where I want it to start, I'm going to push shift B on the keyboard, and this will kind of split. It, wouldn't, it won't split the video, but it will kind of add a little marker to your speed ramp uh, tool here at the top. So you have your first bit is 100% and then you have two bits here, okay? It really depends how much footage you want to be sped up. So if you want all this piece here to be sped up, you can you can do that. It's going to look like this. If you want this, if you want it to zoom from here to here, it will look like this. Just keep that in mind, okay? So the, the more... Uh, the longer the clip is where you uh, split the video, pretty much move my cursor in the middle because shift 
B. Now we have one, two, three cuts in the uh, timing options. So now all we got to do is we can drag this first one to the left. Okay. We can drag this all the way to wherever we want. Uh, however, I'm going to leave that one how it is though. I want to uh, speed this clip here. So I'm going to click this piece right here towards the end. You're going to click and drag this to the left. And you're going to notice that if you could drag it to the left, you're going to increase or shorten the clip, but you're also speeding that up. If you drag it out to the right side, you're slowing it down. So I'm going to drag this all the way left to about 600%. So now if I go back and I push play, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so that's what you want to happen. If you uh, want the opposite, you want it to go fast and then slow, just do the opposite, okay? So now we want it to kind of go through and then now I want it to speed up again. So I'm gonna press Shift B. I'm gonna drag this out again. Uh, I think that one's fine. I'm just gonna increase this last clip here. I'm gonna drag this inwards to something like this. So now if I go back and I push play, it's gonna do something like that. Okay, see, we need a little bit more footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Shift over here. So Shift B over here, so more to the left. So we have a little bit more footage to work with. And then we're gonna click and drag this all the way to the left here now. So you can see that now we have more footage to work with and it looks a lot smoother in my opinion. So now we're gonna do the same thing for all of these other clips. So this the next clip is gonna go from fast, it's gonna go normal speed. To bring up the timing options, just press Command R and then push play. Okay, right here I want it to start, so I'm gonna press Shift B and let it play through, uh, maybe around here. Shift B, click and drag this all the way to the left and keep dragging to the left and left. That's gonna take forever. So we're gonna click this down arrow and we're gonna go to custom and then we're gonna go to duration and we're gonna change it. So instead of it being two seconds, we're gonna press zero and then we're gonna keep this to 10 or 15 uh, milliseconds, so press enter. So that's gonna go really fast. And you can see that it changed, when you change the duration, it changes the percent for you. So 1,328%. So now if I go back and I push play, it's gonna go by really fast, as you can see. It's so choppy, I'm sorry guys. It's like rendering out, but we're gonna do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna press Shift B. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to the left here. Something like so. And I push play. And it's gonna go something like that. I actually want it to I'm gonna do it over here. So Shift B right here. So now I'm gonna drag this all the way to the left here. So now if I go back and I push play, it's gonna go through and then it's gonna go fast again. So you're gonna do that for the same thing for all of these clips. Uh, however, I'm not gonna go through all of them again because you just literally replicate it. Now, if you wanna add the sound design, it's very, very simple. Uh, link is gonna be in the description for all of these. And this is like epic music, so I think it's really cool, which I got from Epidemic Sound. But if I go back and I adjust this to match the, uh, the video here. Okay, I'm gonna drag it over here because I think that's where it starts. So you can see that the, there's kind of like a, like it, it kind of builds up the tension. So I'm gonna increase that to right here. Right as the tension releases, that's where I want it to transition. So if I go back and I push play. As you can see. So now let's say we wanna add, I don't know, like some birds or something. Uh, I can do this one here, or I can do the one that I downloaded, which I believe was this one. So I'm gonna drag this over here to the left, and I'm gonna push play. Which just kind of gives it some ambience, a little bit more storytelling, I, I suppose. Uh, however, I am not a pro at sound design. I'm just letting you guys know. And then this one's the one that I use. It's called Whispers Whoosh, which is in the pack by uh, Andrew James. So I'm gonna drag this over here to, uh, you don't wanna overdo the whoosh sound effects though, cause it can be annoying. So I'm just gonna do it for every other uh, transition, I suppose. You can also adjust this as well. So if you press Command R, you can speed this up if you want, depending on how fast the speed ramp is. So since this one goes by a little bit fast and the audio is kind of slow, I'm going to make it faster, so.
there we go we're going to add another one over here so command v and just drag this over here see how that works so if i were to disable the music it just looks really boring and if we start adding one by one like the music and then we add the whoosh sound effect with the music and then the sound effect and then last but not least the bird sound effects So from here, you can just keep adding more clips and so on. I'm, of course, not going to do that because that's just going to take a long time. Build it, make it, show it, sell it. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. Squarespace has award-winning templates so you can build your online presence easier. Whether you're a chef or a filmmaker, Squarespace has amazing 24-7 customer support via live chat and email in case you ever need help. Use the offer code KINGTUTSPRO to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll catch you guys on my next video.